Again, the portrait of a lady. Those who haven't got your text, those who haven't got your text, you listen. Yeah, you just listen. Now, if you look at the writer, if you look at the writer, the writer is Kushwan Singh. All right, Kushwan Singh. He is an Indian author. He is an Indian author. Uh, he's also a diplomat. He's also a journalist and he's also a politician. He's a very talented person. All right, Kushwan Singh. I think you have all heard uh, of his name, Kushwan Singh. All right, he's an Indian writer, um, diplomat, politician, journalist, and uh, <clears throat> Oh, that is about the writer, a very brief one. Okay, listen. Now, in the portrait of a lady, we are going to learn about Kushwan Singh's grandmother. Okay, we are going to learn about Kushwan Singh's grandmother. His relationship, the relationship between Kushwan Singh and his grandmother. It's a very simple chapter, all right? And... Uh, this the grandmother her name is not given there in the text all right it is uh, in any simply written as the grandmother okay and this the grandmother of kushwan singh she is a very strong person okay she is a very strong person not physically strong more not physically strong she is strong mentally more. She is a very religious person. All right. She is a very religious person. Oh. Again, she always uh, murmur. She always said her prayer. All right. With any uh, means she hold the rosary. Okay. She hold the rosary and she always utters her prayer. All right, she's a very religious person. And she and Kushwan Singh, they had a very strong relationship. There is a strong bond between them. Well, there's a strong bond between them. They used to live, Kushwan Singh used to live with her, uh, with his grandmother in the village. All right, and Kushwan Singh he used to go to the village school. And at the same time, uh, the grandmother used to accompany him all right, the grandmother used to accompany uh, the grandson uh, to the school. She went to, uh, she, again, uh, she spent her day at the temple reading scriptures. All right, the holy book. Bible, the scriptures, holy book. All right, so I'm, Again, if when school, uh, when school was over, both of them, they went home together. Oh, so they used to spend their time together. The grandmother, she cared for her grandson. Is it clear? Mm. So um, there is a turning point in their relationship. Oh, there is a turning point in their relationship. Turning point, and it's a changing point in Kap. Chem, Kakantani. When, uh, in any question, sings, uh, father and mother, parents, sent for them to live uh, with them in the city. Uh, it's a very simple one. It's very, very interesting. All right. Uh, here, if you look at your book, uh, the first page, before the lesson starts, there are some uh, words, sentence in them. For example, the thought was almost revolting. Did you, uh, did you see? The thought was almost revolting. The second one is an expanse of pure white serenity. Well, I will tell you the meaning. All right. Now, the first one is the thought was almost revolting. Means the thought was, again, again, it's, it is unable to, be, uh, again, to believe, unbelievable. The thought was almost revolting. So, again, yeah. Uh, it's very hard to believe in Ang Kantani. 
Is it clear? Then the second one, an expanse of pure white serenity. An expanse of pure white serenity to uh, refers to the peaceful and serene character of the grandmother. Chen, the grandmother, she's a very like I said, she's a very she's very strong in character. More, she's emotionally she's again uh, strong in emotion. She again uh, doesn't show her emotion at all. Chen. So uh, she's very strong in uh, in uh, she's very strong in character. She is a peaceful one, a uh, peaceful woman. All right, she's very calm. A peaceful one, too, my love, ni more peaceful. The calm, the one ita can be around so you can't find clear. Then uh, a turning point, third one, ka a turning point, kati kaso changing point. All right, in top ten, ah. Uh, so you thought wrong. It caught him. Then the fourth one accepted her seclusion with resignation. Uh, accepted her uh, seclusion with resignation. At the katsu, she accepted. Again, it talks about the grandmother. She am a piece and sinner so ina kani tani. Eta when their friendship. Again, uh, when their friendship change. Oh, when their friendship changed, she accepted her seclusion with resignation. All right. Mm. Uh, then the grandmother, I mean, uh, the grandmother takes her loneliness. All right. And towards the end of the story, she's going to be very lonely. Oh, she's going to be very lonely. She accepted. Uh, her loneliness with, uh, with resignation. Okay, so a veritable bedlam of chirrupings. Veritable bedlam of chirrupings. It refers to the noise. It refers to the confusion. All right. It refers to the noise. It refers to the confusion. Chirrupings, the sound made by the birds. Saba. All right, the sound made by the birds. Then frivolous rebukes. Uh, frivolous rebukes, huh? what, what will be the meaning? Frivolous rebukes, and it's on in a, in any, uh, in an angry way. Oh, in an angry way. Oh, so the last one. The sagging skins of the dilapidated drum. The sound made by the made by the drum. All right. The grandmother is going to beat the drum. All right. Kami that uh, the sound made by the drum. All right. Then uh, first parakan. I'm not going to read line by line. Okay. I'm not going to read by li uh, li uh, line by line. To me, and you want to you have to read the whole chapter by yourself. Is it clear? You have to read the whole chapter by yourself. You have to underline all the difficult words. More. You have to underline all the difficult words. You have to write them down the meaning, their meaning. Is it clear? Kaka in detail. That is your work. Huh? Uh, here in the first para, the description, the description of the grandmother. All right, Kushwa Singh. He says that his grandmother was very, very old. Okay, his grandmother was very old. She is slightly bent. At the example, the so in her face was a crisscross of wrinkles. So you know wrinkles. So Her face was. Uh, her face was a cross, a crisscross of wrinkles. There are so many wrinkles on her face. All right. So on the grand, uh, the Kushwa Singh, he had known her grandmother. He had known his grandmother for about twenty years. All right, for about twenty years, and during that twenty years, his grandmother remained the same. All right. That means she is she is very very old. Okay. And the grandmother, she uh, she had a husband. All right, she had a, a, a husband. And if you look at the first para, the fourth line from the last. 
and Rulef in text ka. The fourth line from the last. The first para, the fourth line from the last. What to? Pachangin siya sa ula. As for my grandmother, being young and pretty, the thought was almost revolting. That sentence, I've told you the meaning, isn't it? Yeah. Difficult to believe. Ika mo, oi umlo, kakantani. So, ingani, uh, what is it? Dif uh, in any, what is uh, what is it difficult to believe that his grandmother was once a pretty and uh, a pretty and young lady? Chem a pika kum som nitsu ma shato atiroa kum som nitsu ma shat kanin a pika in any she still remained the same, very, very old, all right, with lots of uh, wrinkles on her face, isn't it? Ma seng in hey, in any hit a chat lights on in, she used to be a very lovely lady. Oh. Apika, she used to be a very, uh, any, a pretty young lady, isn't it? Kami vangkan api to na, ingeni asya te, so na ko tar to luto, full of wrinkles ka. Man lai tsuan yin alo, mel chichi, ah mel chichi na, mo, anal e ne mati, i an, kami ingeni thot an mi toa chin ha tsuan yin, he finds it hard to believe. All right. Then, hmm. Uh, the description of uh, Kushwan Singh's grandfather is also there. Very brief one. All right. Kaka, uh, I'll tell you the lines. Uh, that same para, uh, first para, one, two, three, four, uh, fifth. The fifth line from the first. Kaun kalit sa tsaro. Atira changa, klarma na kan. My grandfather's portrait. What is a portrait? A portrait is a picture, isn't it? A portrait is a picture. The picture of uh, his grandfather hung above the mantelpiece in the drawing room. What is a mantelpiece? A mantelpiece is a space above the fireplace. Shem, takanin, the frame, kanin, maybe in frame. All right, a grandfather, portrait, picture, huh? It's there. He wore a big turban and loose fitting clothes. His long white beard covered the best part of his chest and he looked at least 100 years old. So a grandfather, Koka, from his portrait. All right. He seems to be very, very old, at least 100 years old. He wore a turban. Turban, so again. What is a turban? Yes, it's a cloth. A cloth to cover their head. Uh, so, uh, first para deals with the description of the grandmother and the grandfather. Is it clear? Yes. Then the second, second para. Again, a description of the grandmother. All right. She, the grandmother had been, uh, the grandmother is a very short woman. She is a very short woman and fat, right? And fat and slightly bent. Her face, like I said, her face was full of wrinkles, right? Her face was full of wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere. Imagine wrinkles all over her face. Then about the dress, she always wear. Uh, in a white dress for var hanging it on a spot spotless uh, white dress in there hmm. then uh page four next page and in zero box page number current uh in any soy tail line currents the soy the car in low and Page, next page for a canyon here the ato pachang can you count it the fourth line she hobbled about the house in spotless white with one hand resting on her waist to balance her stoop and the other telling the beads of her rosary here the introduction i can have told you she always again hold a rosary all right a rosary on one of her hand and the other hand she put it on her waist to balance herself all right, uh, to balance herself. Then her silver locks were scattered untidily. What is a silver locks? Her hair. Shem, asam chuak, her silver locks 
rescatered, untidily over her pale, puckered face. Puckered here also refers to wrinkled face. All right. Wrinkled face. My tour. Oh, my tour. Kami akan asam vartika. Oh, tingyan ni it scattered, untidily. At yan eh. Then, her lips were constantly moving in inaudible prayer. All right. Inaudible prayer. Midang yun na ang shed with halo. Prayer ka asoy tsar tsar ni. From that, katachang luma po kan, we came to know that she is a very, very uh, religious woman. Misakwa milito ka ni. Pero, she always, uh, ingani, hold a rosary in one of her hand. All right. She always mumble a prayer. Is it clear? Did you get it? Then, she was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, she was beautiful. Uh, she was beautiful. She was like the winter landscape in the mountains. Here, a comparison, right? A comparison, an expanse of pure white serenity. She is very calm. Uh, she is very peaceful. She is very calm, right? So uh, one thing you have to imagine is her dress is always in white, spotless white, right? Balingma So can you imagine it? Her physical features. Mm. She always put her one hand on her waist, isn't it? So on the other hand, in, uh, in order to balance herself, she is slightly bent. She is short. Uh, she is short. She is fat. She is slightly bent. Okay. So on in on one uh, on one hand, she holds her rosary. All right. So on in, what does she always mumble? She always mumble uh, her prayer. Mm. Then next for uh, Hmm. Uh, next para, Kushwan Singh is going to talk about her relationship, all right, with his grandmother. Oh, with his grandmother. He said that his grandmother and uh, himself, all right, his grandmother and, and himself, they were very good friends. Yeah, they were very good friends. They were very, very close. And together, they live in the village. So, Kushwan Singh's parents, Kushwan Singh's parents left them to settle in the city. All right. Kushwan Singh, ano ulit, pate, kanin, yata, kupuya, iba in settle, patul, kanin, ang kalsa na ni. Oh, so, api ka na lo, and kaldo na ni, kinklama ka na. All right. Then, early in the morning, early in the morning, the grandmother, oh, the grandmother used to wake Kushwan Singh. Akay ka uchi na ni. Oh, zinga kanin api kan kushwan singa ka kai toa in order to get ready for school. All right, in order to get ready for school, she used to wake me up in the morning and get ready for school. All right, she said her morning prayer in a monotonous sing song. Oh, because I call her, she always said her prayer, isn't it? Achong chai tsar tsar chin ban ti tiro. So, ah, ingen yu. Uh, when she was again, uh, when she woke her, uh, when she woke her, uh, his grandson. All right, a prayer. Allah says, "It's a monotonous to again uh, in a same uh, in the same tone, Shem, in the same tone." Can asoy par para ni a prayer ka. So anin again, she used to bathe him abuad shintani mo kushwan singa ka and and. She dressed him. All right. Oh, and she dressed him. Then, uh, Kushwa Singh loved listening to the voice of her of his grandmother. All right. Kushwa Singh loved to, uh, uh, loved to listen the voice of his grandmother. Oh, his grandmother wanted him to learn the prayer. Shut up, man. 
Api kanin ni prayer aso ita ka yata atupa kanin lo by heart si ati china ni masengin kuswan si makatuan ni again he doesn't bother to again to learn the prayer he just wanted to listen to the voice of his grandmother because he loves it all right then uh, together ah uh, together they would walk towards the school ah uh, school ka to rin tikanin ni ingen ni an pito ka din ang kalchintani so and for breakfast all right for breakfast they had a uh, stole chapati you know chapati uh, roti oh they had a stole stole ting eh leftover ching chen an ebang kan tiang ka an ya with a little butter and sugar all right and sugar spread on the chapati and they went to school all right so that is their morning routine all right that is their morning routine early in the morning the grandmother she used to wake kush one thing isn't it she used to wake kush one thing she bathed him she dressed him oh so and after dressing him she gave him the a uh, slate slate and it's a uh, slate and it's a, it's a kind of uh, เงี้ยทิลเซียนตัวรังคาบ่เอ่อเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเดเด
uh, to live with them in the city. Now that is the turning point. Right. I think a turning point on young. At and two, village life and city life, they are not the same at all. Okay. Village life and city life, they are not the same at all. When they, when they went to live with, the, with their parents, with Kushwansin's parents, things gradually change. Well, things gradually change. For example, in any, the school that he, that he uh, went, right? He went to an English school. Well, English school, he was not uh, taught about the morning prayer. He was not taught about the... Uh, he was not taught uh, about the alphabet, all right? Instead, he was taught about uh, music. You know music, isn't it? Uh, yeah, music, Tung Sangten, Lo Zertira. He was taught about uh, the world being around. How did he get around the news? No, Archimedes principle. You know Archimedes principle? Kan Tiang Ho Zong Zong Ka, and Lo Zertira taught Tani. All right, Tu Bang In. If you look back, more if you think back, village school at he was taught the alphabet. Very simple, isn't it? He was taught uh, the morning prayer. city school at he was not taught at all. Right? They sent for us. They sent for us means uh, here us refers to Kushwan Singh and his grandmother. All right? Kushwan Singh's parents sent for them. To live with them in the city. City ya need to unload is settled to a to bangin heta village ya umbring lo kanin and pitu kanin ingeni city kopuye tsen to kanin ingeni anva ingeni anva shilan mo. Till that, in short, Yamen, did you understand? <coughs> Yes. 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 Listen, those who haven't got your books, those who haven't buy your books, you have to buy it. Well, without the books, it's going to be difficult. All right. Without the books, it's going to be difficult. Plus, you have to read the text by yourself. Oh, don't depend on the uh, on this online class. Oh, class at Swanian, in any line by line in can tell the wa in any uh an important point some more can't yang so can say tani. So one swan in uh you have to buy the text, those who haven't bought it. Chem so on you have to read the chapters. You have to read the chapters by yourself. You have to uh, underline the words that you do not understand. A meaning in Shadlock, underline You have to write down the meaning. So on in, next class, so on in, we will continue with their city life. All right, city ya and Uma, what are the things? Oh, what are the things uh, in any that they face? What are the difficulties that they face uh, in any when they live in the city? All right, for your assignment, uh, for your assignment, listen, nah. for your assignment, you have to read the whole chapters, the portrait of a lady. Oh, the portrait of a lady, you have to underline the difficult words that you do not understand the meaning and you have to write down the meaning in the text itself. Okay. Uh, you have to write it. And the first and foremost thing is you have to read the text. Is it clear? Yes, miss. Hmm. Yes. With that, yes, miss. we'll yes, conclude miss. our class. With that, uh, we'll yes, conclude miss. our class. Thank you, miss. Thank you, Miss. Yes. Yeah. Bye. Hello.